Hi, Zach Dobson here with another Friday photo tip. Uh, this week I'm going to talk about something that sounds really basic, but I see a lot of people don't do it the right way, and it can go a long way in helping your pictures be uh, sharper and more in focus, which is the correct way to hold a camera. So you really need three points of contact. The first is your hand. You know, plant it firmly. It should be underneath. Second point is tucking that elbow down and pushing against your torso. And then the third really is your face as you're looking through the viewfinder. That helps keep things nice and stable so you don't get that blur that can happen from your hands moving around. So um, especially in low light situations is where you can start to run into that being an issue. Another thing you can do if it's especially dark and you need additional stabilization is finding you know, a surface and really pushing up against that. You can rest yourself up against that. You can push the camera up against it directly. Um, can really help you get better photos when the light's starting to get low. Um, the same principles work on your phone too. So uh, if you didn't know, you can push the volume up button to take photos, but you can take that same kind of position where you hold on here, come underneath, and then if it's really low light and you're noticing your photos are blurry, I know it'll look kind of strange, but you can use that extra point of contact to make sure you're getting really stable. Um, if you're inside and there's something like a doorway, you can do the same thing. Just push the phone you know, up against the doorway or tree or whatever you can find as much as you can. Um, helps get the images uh, more steady. So hopefully that helps you get some sharper images uh, more quality photos. Um, so if this was helpful, leave a comment. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, tag a friend who has a lot of blurry photos and you think could benefit from this. Um, thanks for stopping by. Keep it real.